Hi, I'm Carl Tannenbaum, Chief Economist for Northern Trust. Here are the inquiries that we're getting most often from clients, along with the responses that we've been offering. First, is the United States in a recession? And if not, are we heading for one? Inflation adjusted output in the United States shrank in both the first and the second quarters, which qualifies as a technical recession. The official determination of when business cycles begin and end is based on a much broader range of data, including readings on industrial activity and employment. On those fronts, it would be hard to conclude that a downturn was underway. Results from the American labor market in particular remain very strong. Looking ahead, high inflation and higher interest rates will curb economic activity. Our latest forecast calls for a slow growth trajectory over the next four quarters, but a recession certainly cannot be ruled out. I should note here that recession and Armageddon are not synonyms. Many recessions are shallow and short and reorient markets for further progress. Should growth falter in the months ahead, we think the strength of balance sheets across the economy will serve as a barrier against a severe downturn. Second, when will inflation come down? The good news is that it already has. Crude oil prices are down about 25% from their peaks and motorists are paying a lot less for gasoline. The year-over-year -year increase in the consumer price index has probably peaked. We think that inflation will continue to decelerate. Supply chains are healing, bounding the prices of a broad range of goods. Food price increases, which have been substantial, are unlikely to continue at the same rate. But it could take well over a year before inflation falls back to the level we saw prior to the pandemic. The costs of shelter are rising rapidly on the back of huge increases in home values, and worker shortages continue to put upward pressure on wages and the costs of some services. So the inflation outlook is improving, but it still does not provide much cause for comfort. And finally, how far will the Federal Reserve go? The Fed has raised overnight interest rates by more than 2% in the last six months, which represents one of the fastest tightening programs in decades. More increases are expected at upcoming meetings as inflation remains well above the Fed target. Our current sense is that the Fed's benchmark rate will reach 4%, more than 1% higher than it is today. The labor market will be a barometer for whether the Fed is getting close to a conclusion. The demand for labor exceeds supply by a wide margin, which has led wages higher by more than 5% over the past year. Better pay is a good thing for workers, but lower inflation would be even better for all of us. The Fed is seeking to take the edge off of the job market, but not send it into a retreat. On a side note, we have also been asked whether the Fed is willing to risk a recession to get inflation under control. The answer is certainly yes. A recession is not an outcome that the Fed is seeking, but if a short recession is required to achieve a long period of price stability, that is a trade-off that the Fed is willing to make. And that's the view from here.